selfless deed. Two chums bounced their fists in a friendly way and prepared to enter the oval. May we be friends forever. Whatever happens our match will be a cool one Ned says. Do you imagine a game we could forget in a few weeks would mess up our friendship? Said Addison. The two men were on opposite teams for the cricket match, the English sport. As the two teams walked on the grassy pitch, the crowd roared enveloped in delight, the announcer over loudspeaker made comments as the game progressed. The bowl bowled, a batsman out. The match continued a short time. Addison claimed five wickets. The day's play concluded, the teams and others of note assemble on the field, award presentations were underway. The atmosphere is chilled by officials rushing forward to accuse Addison, a fresh trophy recipient, of ball tampering. The game is played by a bowler tossing a ball at a batsman. As proof disclose a confession from the co-conspirator who tampered for him. Ned defends, but the officials are adamant. He goes so far as to say if his friend denies it he will believe doesn't happen. Ned grabbed the man's collar, why? Thenceforth thrown off the squad and sent home. He missed cricket, unable to stand cooped inside a house. Time passed, as climate headed the bush dry from a blazing sun and satellite, rapidly intensifying. Ned's wife saw the conflagration approaching their house. Unwilling to just leave, phoned Ned. He playing a match took the phone from the official. Horrified he began to rush to his distant home. Along the way lost contact with her. Next she called the authorities, should have called them first, as they are far and needed time to arrive. Addison is in his abode when the phone rang. The wife informed him of the flames asking him over. He found himself using a garden hose to spray the house to okay effect. Much time was spent on this task. Ned finally came joined by team members, man and wife barely embraced before a bucket brigade forms, both teams working hand in hand. Addison's efforts caused Ned to think of the ex-playmate selfless deed. A sport can break friendships, but adversity can mend them.